By the end of this video, my theme will have a fully functioning search input field and custom designed search result page. So let's get started. First, I'm going to add the search input field to my navigation. I'll start by selecting the navigation brick on the design canvas and enabling its additional content area. I'm then going to adjust the width of the content area so it takes up less space. Inside this content area, I'm going to add a form brick. I won't be needing the contents of the form, so I'm going to select the last item in the form and use the keyboard shortcut Command Backspace to delete each item until I'm left with an empty form container. Next, I need to set up the form so that it can communicate with WordPress. To do that, I'll head over to the inspector and set the form type to custom. The action to forward slash and the method to get. I'm going to insert an input field into the form container. By default, input fields are wrapped inside a form group div container when they are added. To get the input field to align correctly with the navigation menu items, I'm going to drag the input field out of the container and then delete the empty container. I'm now left with a form that has a single input field within it. The next thing I'm going to do is set up the input field so that it looks and functions like a search field. To do that, I'll set the input field placeholder text to something that helps identify it as a search field. Next, I'm going to add two custom data attributes to the field. The first attribute will be named name, and it will have a value of a lowercase s character. The second attribute I'm going to add is named value, and the value for this attribute will be the WordPress search query shortcode. That's my search input field set up. Next, I need to create the page that will display the search results. I'll start that by adding a new page and selecting Search Results Template from the WordPress Page Name pop-up menu. Doing this will set the value in the name field to Search. Search result page templates can have any kind of layout and style. However, I want mine to have the same layout as my theme's archive page. With this in mind, I'm going to duplicate the archive page template that I created in an earlier video as the starting point for my search results page template. The first thing I'll do is change the main header to incorporate the WordPress search query shortcode. Next, I'm going to add a second text heading brick that will incorporate the WordPress post query count shortcode. When this page is generated by WordPress, the shortcodes will be replaced with dynamic values for the current search query. As my search results page is a duplication of the archive page, my post loop is already configured to show the content available to the page. In this case, posts that match the current search query. That's my results page and the search integration complete. The WordPress search functionality can't be tested with in-app preview mode so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command-E to export and test it out on my local WordPress site. I'm back in the browser, and you can see the WordPress site running my theme now has a search input field. If I type in a search query and hit return, I'm taken to the results page that I just created within blocks. As you can see, the page is displaying the correct search query values in place of the shortcodes. The blog posts have also been filtered to those that contain the search query in their title. That concludes our beginner's tutorial course on building a WordPress theme with blocks. If you would like to increase your skills and knowledge further, we also have some advanced WordPress video tutorials available on our knowledge base and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.